everyone, it's Jay the Nerd here. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to get all the nerdy content you'll ever need every Wednesday and Saturday. Um, I mentioned in my button collection video that I put up on Wednesday that the reason for my break in making videos for the last month was because I have been really busy with grad school and then also my mental health has not been the best and I'm in figuring out uh, getting a psychiatrist sucking so anti-anxiety medicine. Um, I already have a therapist, but he doesn't prescribe anti-anxiety medication because he's just a therapist. So I'm in the process of that and it's just been hard um, to want to make videos. Um, this is just, you know, making videos and my podcast and my Twitch streams and stuff. It's just something that I do for fun because I like having an outlet for talking about my my nerdy interests like video games and anime and stuff um and it was just hard to get myself to do anything beyond just surviving uh lately um even this is a little bit difficult um i'm like recording it the day it's getting uploaded because i'm just tired <laughs> um and usually i do some like fancy editing with the monthly favorites where i have like the transitions with the different um, subjects and um, music and I have like pictures of what I'm talking about but I'm gonna be real with you that I don't I don't have the energy for that right now so I'm just gonna talk <laughs> and I hope that you can keep up with me um, and I apologize if it's not the usual for these monthly favorites it's kind of a bummer because the monthly favorites are my favorite videos to make but I'm just I'm doing what I can right now, and I'm getting a video out, and that's all I can do right now. So, um, it was kind of hard to find things to talk about this month because I've done a lot of re-watching and replaying because when my mental health is really bad, I find comfort in revisiting things that I already love, like games and, and anime and, and different things like that. Um, so I was replaying Persona 5 <laughs> and Kingdom Heart, the Kingdom Hearts games and I was watching old YouTube videos and all these things and I didn't do a whole lot of new things this month but I will talk about what I can. Um, and first is video games. I started playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I know that came out over a year ago but I never really got into the Animal Crossing thing and then I kind of got this desire to do some interior design because I love doing that in real life. So I decided to finally play it and it's fun and it's chill and I'm enjoying it. And another fun chill game that I've been playing has been Pokemon Snap. Um, I never played the original one, but this one is so cute. You just get to take pictures of adorable Pokemon and I'm loving every minute of it. Um, <laughs> and for anime, I have been watching um, Neon Genesis Evangelion, um, which is a classic, and I never watched it before, and I finally made the leap to watch it, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I have not finished it. I've been going kind of slow with it because of, like I said, finding comfort in rewatching and replaying things, but I am enjoying it so far. Um, the only animes that I'm watching that are weekly right now are uh, My Hero um, season five and, um, Moriarty the Patriot season one part two. That's the only weekly animes I've been keeping up with this season. There wasn't a whole lot this season that really caught my eye. Um, I do want to give Odd Taxi and Vivi, or Vivi, however you say it, a chance at some point, but I've just had a hard time motivating myself to do much of anything lately. So, yeah, that's really the only anime I've been watching. Um, I'm almost done with Assassination Classroom. I talked about that last month. It's literally one of my favorite animes ever. And yet it's taking me a long time to finish the second season just because, as I said, I've had a hard time motivating myself to do anything. Um, but yeah, I love Assassination Classroom. But anyways, with manga, I've actually done... I went to Barnes & Noble um, about a week ago, and it's the first time I'd stepped in a store in over a year because of what's going on with the world and I bought some cool stuff and I um def I read actually read some manga besides my hero and Attack on Titan um because 
usually the only thing I really keep up with manga wise is my hero and then attack on Titan ended a few weeks ago and I I read the final chapter when it came out um but otherwise I get really behind on manga and I just have so much to read but I finally am starting to get there and read some more um and growing my manga collection through going to Barnes and Noble and stuff and so I read actually next to my manga shelves right here um I bought some new shelves so that I could fill my ever-growing manga collection and figure collection and all that um but I read Devil's a Part-Timer Volume 1. Um, this actually came, this is embarrassing, man. This came in the May Occubento of last year. So I got this a year ago and it took me this long to read it. And I love Devil, the Devil's a Part-Timer anime and they're finally getting a season two. But I love Volume 1 and I'm excited to read the other volumes. I read Volume 1 of the Persona 5 manga. Now this is really just like a collector thing for me because I'm obsessed with the game. And I watch the anime because I love the game and I'm reading the manga because I love the game even though the manga and the anime are the exact same story of the game and I know the story of the game backwards and forwards I was like gotta read it anyways because it's Persona 5 <sighs> and then I finally read volume 1 of Beastars now I talked about Beastars in my top 10 favorite anime video and I talked about it in a nerdy monthly favorites a while ago but I'm finally I got a volume one of the manga on my Barnes and Noble trip a week ago and I read I like devoured <laughs> volume one so fast it's so good and I'm really excited to get the other volumes and read it like I love Beastars so much I'm just you know really freaking excited to grow my manga collection and read more manga because I freaking love it so much. It's so exciting to be caught up on my hero and like know what's going to happen for the before the anime only anime only watchers watch it. It's so exciting that I finished Attack on Titan and know what's going to happen for the anime. You think that would ruin watching the anime because you know it's going to happen already, but it really doesn't. And it's so exciting being in this manga and anime community and I have more manga on my shelf that I need to read and I can't wait to keep growing my collection. I freaking love it um, so much. Um, but yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is TV. Now, <laughs> I don't watch a lot of American live action television anymore. Really, all I watch is anime mostly. <laughs> Um, but occasionally I do watch some live action American TV and one of those things is The Bold Type and uh, season the final season started this week and I haven't watched the episode yet because I'm waiting to watch it with my mom because we watched together um but I love it it's really good and I'm really sad that it's only getting like six more episodes and then it's done because I fucking love that show so much um besides that with live action American TV I watch Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist um and they had their season finale a week or two ago and I freaking love that show so much. It's probably my favorite American live action TV show that I watch. Um, and I talked about that in my last month um, Nerdy Favorites video, but that had a season finale and I really hope it gets another season three. And then the other two live action American TV shows that I watch regularly is A Million Little Things and This Is Us. And that's really it. <laughs> With weekly live action American TV, there are some like Netflix shows that I watch when they come out and stuff like that. Oh, um, Love Victor season two is coming out in June and I'm very excited about that. I'll talk about that in my June nerdy favorites video. But anyways, my little rambling about TV is over. So that was my monthly favorites. I'm sorry that it's not as woo and pizzazz and fancy editing as usual, but I promise I will try to get my videos back to normal next month, I hope. Um, on Wednesday, I'm going to be opening the spring um, My Hero Academia box that is finally getting here this week. Um, and then on Saturday, I will be talking about um, my first ever Junji Ito story collection book that I uh, will be reading and reviewing um, that I bought at Barnes & Noble. And I won't spoil which one that is, but yeah. So I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.